The Gingerbread Man Once upon a time, there lived a little old woman and a little old man. One day, the little old woman made a gingerbread man. When she opened the oven, the gingerbread man jumped off the baking tray and ran out of the house. The little old woman and the little old man ran after the gingerbread man yelling, Stop! Stop! Sadly, they could not catch him. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man ran until he came to a cat. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the cat. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man ran until he came to a dog. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the dog. He gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man ran on. Then he came to a cockerel. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the cockerel. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man ran down the lane and came to a pig. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the pig. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. A little further on the gingerbread man came to a cow. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the cow. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man ran on. Then he came to a horse. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the horse. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. It was not long before the gingerbread man came to a boy. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the boy. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man kept running and came to a girl. Stop! You look good enough to eat, said the girl and she joined in the chase. The gingerbread man ran on until he came to a river. He stopped as he could not swim. Just then, a fox came by. I can help you cross the river, said the fox. Just hop onto my tail and I will swim across. The gingerbread man saw the others coming. He knew that if he did not go with the fox, he would be eaten. So he jumped onto his tail. Soon the gingerbread man began to get wet. Climb onto my back, said the fox, so the gingerbread man did. The water was getting even deeper. This time the fox said, jump onto my nose so that you don't get wet. The gingerbread man climbed onto the top of his nose. Just then, the fox tipped back his head and the gingerbread man flew into the air. The fox opened his mouth and snap. That was the end of the gingerbread man. Are you enjoying this story? Run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The tale describes how a gingerbread man came to life, leapt off the baking tray and escaped being eaten by the couple who baked him. He runs away from a host of domesticated animals, a dog, a cat, a pig, and more people. Can he be outsmarted? Now, let's discuss the story in greater depth and take some time to contemplate. The gingerbread man didn't know the fox and decided to speak to him. Why shouldn't he have done that? The gingerbread man chose to get across the river. Do they think it was a good idea? Why? Can you think of a different way to cross a river? What would you do?